as well as uh, Yemen and Iraq. So I will not go through uh, each and every one of these, but carry on and say that experience has shown that it often feels very rewarding to give specific and concrete expert advice on particular technical subjects, or maybe to donate equipment for uh, some specific purpose. Joel just mentioned turnkey projects. This yields immediate results such as marking a particular danger in a waterway with a donated buoy or monitoring a specific part of a waterway using donated AIS receivers. Such solutions tend, however, to be short-sighted unless proper support is given to the organizational side of things. It is of little use to receive a number of buoys if one does not have the capability or capacity to maintain them. It is of little benefit for any organization to receive short-based AS equipment if one is unable to uh, interpret the data and or use it for analysis, for example using the IREP Mark II or the, um, the PAUSA. The four primary success factors that determine the success of any age navigation service provider or any organization um, for that matter are um, the resources that you have at your um, disposal, the ability to build um, competences and knowledge, su suitable stru structure or organization of, um, of your um, organization, if you will, or, or your service, suitable mission statements, visions, and uh, most importantly, I think, uh, strategies that tie everything together. Also, in order to ensure sustainability of any organization, it needs to be able to learn over time. It, it increases knowledge and competences in order to adapt to changes in the environment um, and requirements. In many cases, the uh, lack of resources, in particular financial resources, is the most popular, popular area for, for support. We heard something about that earlier. In many, if not most cases, financial support is given, as well as assistance to write suitable tender specification and to conduct the tender in order to procure some equipment or systems. In most cases, staff training is included in this specification, ensuring proper training. Um, of operational and maintenance staff um, with regard to the equipment at hand. This is all very well and useful, at least in the short term, since it supports, supports the first two success factors here. However, unless the organization receives such support, um, unless the organization that is receiving such support is strong on the to remain a factor, there is a risk that the, success, the successes achieved will not last very long and that these solutions will not be sustainable over time. In any organization, it is imperative that the work conducted is organized properly and that um, any development is aligned with the mission of the organization. Development should be based on ambigu uh, ambitious goals, not ambiguous of course, <laughs> <laughs> and visions as well as suitable strategies guiding the way forward uh, in order to achieve the vision. Such strategies should include measures to ensure sufficient resources, competences and of course sustainability. I think Ayala should uh, have a plan for uh, this area. Over the last few years Ayala has operated with what is called Ayala Consultancy. When Ayala engages in a support mission, a small group of consultants is selected from the Ayala membership to do the job. Uh, these missions are typically conducted in close coordination with IMO, of course. And in many cases, the main driver for developments in, uh, is the urge of governments to fulfill their international obligations, as said Alvin Solas. Solas states, that age navigation services should be provided on the base, on base, based on volume of traffic and degree of risk. And therefore, it would make sense for Ayala to assess the volume of traffic and degree of risk in various regions in order to identify where there may be need for support. And the advent of mandatory AS carries requirement 
terrestrial and space-based AAS make, makes it feasible to conduct such analysis based on AAS data, as we also heard earlier. Ayala has, of course, access to some AAS data through Ayala Net, and um, <coughs> that should be utilized. The capacity of Ayala to conduct such missions is, of course, limited, given the finite capacity of Ayala and the Secretariat. Therefore, the Ayala missions need to be carefully selected and prioritized. Ideally, Ayala would mainly focus on conducting those missions that give maximum benefit for safety of navigation. Where in one possible, Ayala should be more proactive when it comes to supporting those countries, eager to develop their um, ability to provide aid to navigation services. Many organizations around the world uh, provide financial resources in those, uh, to those in the need to, for assistance. Not so many are involved in giving um, advice on the remaining success factors. Uh, that is how to build competences of knowledge and how to design an ACE navigation organization, define its mission and develop suitable visions and strategies. Ayala could play an important role in assisting those willing to provide financial resources in selecting those missions that have maximum impact on safety of navigation. This requires an overview and uh, knowledge of those areas in the world where volume of traffic and degree of risk dictate a certain level of base navigation services. And I think it would be a suitable task for Ayala to create such an overview. So, a few conclusions. It's not enough to, to do these short-term um, projects. We need to focus more on building the internal competences and knowledge of these uh, developing countries, making them able to make their own decisions, of course. We need the overview, and while expert advice is good, coaching advice is gold, I think. I also take the lead in um, charting the risk of the world. Um, and the IELTS should develop a plan for how to help these countries that are, are re really willing and striving to um, fulfill their obligations. And IELTS should coach, not be only the expert that has good advice, but to coach a long-term relationship is needed. Also, uh, the Ayala Consultancy and the Ayala Worldwide Academy should um, be developed further to um, support these efforts. That's it. Thank you very much, Omar, and I think uh, you've really made a very a number of concrete um, statements there where Ayala can play a major role. Well, that ends the, that's the final um, presentation of our session. Unfortunately, the time has caught up with us, so we will not have time to take any further questions. Uh, please, if you have any burning questions, fill in the, the questionnaire forms and hand it in, and uh, we will make sure that they get an answer on that. Uh, well, I would like to thank all the speakers and the very able Vice Chair, Steve Nell, and so let's give him a round of applause. And the next session starts probably at 11 o'clock. Thank you very much for your attention.